on NBC. Oh, wow, Monday awesome. night. So I'm just I'm glad to be back and working in the business. You know? It's cool, man. Like everybody's watching that show. It's got a lot of ra high ratings. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's a great show. It's a great cast, and uh, that's it. That's all I've been doing. It's work, work, work. I have to working out, not work. eating pancakes. No, not eating pancakes. <laughs> Counteracts your workout, huh? Exactly. Exactly. I have to ask you a question. Yeah. And uh, you don't have to answer it if you don't want to. Okay. Yeah. But I just had to ask. In all your years filming Prison Break. Yeah. Did anything like you know your time this working could go on, really bad. Your, your time working on that production, did it in any ways was, was it able to prepare you for what you had to face? No, no, no not at all. There was never there's never a time in jail where you can yell, cut, I'm gonna walk out and go to my trailer and hit a Starbucks. So it definitely was surreal in there waking up in jail every day and, and putting on those blues. It's uh it's a painful experience that I would wish on no one, you know, and uh, playing a character, you know, it's funny, when I was on prison break, you could open the bars, literally yeah. the jail cell, <laughs> those were like plastic bars, you could open them and walk out and bring a sigh of relief, and, and there you can't do that. It's totally just, not the real thing. Totally not the real thing, and uh, that's why you shouldn't drink and drive. Definitely ever. not. Ever. Definitely not. So, Alcohol's yeah. bad, man. Well, you got to be responsible. Right. You're going to do it. You know, you can have a good time, but be smart about doing it. So. And how, how long were you in there for? I was in there for two years. Wow, man. Yeah. Two so years, eight prisons. I went to eight prisons. Eight different prisons. Yeah. Wow, what was that like, going back and forth to different prisons? Uh, your worst nightmare. I mean, you, you know, you establish yourself on a prison yard, and... The next thing you know, you're being uprooted about 3 a.m. And the way that works, they strip you of your clothes and you're naked in a cell for about 13 hours. And then they chain you. They chain you to a bus and you head to your next prison. You have no idea where you're headed or what's going to happen. And you go on to another prison yard and you've got to establish yourself again and meet 2,000 other guys that, that are pretty hard. Wow. So No notice, no warning. No nothing. notice, no warning. And... Uh, you know, I, I was very blessed to come out of there alive and, and yeah, for sure. help a lot of guys in there that are hurting. So that's awesome, man. Yeah, God bless it, man. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm yeah. good to see. I'm, I'm got, glad to see you, man. You I'm, got multiple cameras going. I gotta do my thing, dog. Get you that know? girl running by. <laughs> oh, you've been you've been, you been missing a lot of hot chicks, oh. man. They all been walking by here. Uh, the beautiful. Man. You gotta appreciate that. But you're out and free, man. Now, now you can yeah. you can do you now can play I can your look field at some now. Real women, yeah. Uh -huh. I appreciate it. You do your thing, yeah. man. Man, you have a great hey, day. It's good to see you, it's man. Good to God see bless you, too. you. We're glad you're back. Thank we're, you. you know, we're ready to see you handling your business out here, man. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy right, to be back. You got. God, God bless, guys. God bless you, bro. Later.